So, after you shut Sniper... Uh, uh, technically, I was only present. You brought him back from the dead? Mm. <laughs> Ingeniously so, yes. <laughs> uh, well, that's all right then. Oh, uh, could I trouble you for uh, the hydrogen peroxide? I hear you go. Uh, danke. <laughs> this won't take a moment. You know, Doc, I always wondered. You can bring a man back to life. Why can't you grow me another eye? <laughs> well, of course I can. <laughs> The procedure is quite simple, really. <laughs> what? You mean to tell me all these years you could put me eye back any time you bloody liked? Could have. My friend, I've given you your eye back at least eight times. And every time it functions normally until Halloween night, at which point it grows bat wings and attacks us. I mean, we've fought a giant, your eye. A Dracula, your eye. A brain in a jar, your eye. A knife wielding ventriloquist dummy, your eye. One year, we traveled back in time and tried to become our parents. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the point is, in my medical opinion, <laughs> And as a man of science, I do not say this lightly, that, uh, that I suck it is haunted. Well, why don't I remember any of this? Oh, that, uh, I scooped that part of your brain out so you'd stop asking me. <laughs> Aye, fair enough. Hmm. Hold on, I did just ask you. Uh, I know. <laughs> Sadly, brain scooping is not an exact science. <laughs> My advice would be to try not to remember things. <laughs> Don't remember things. God. That's the spirit. Oh, oh. Also, your leg is fixed. I even gave it its own little brain. <laughs> so get out there and let's see what that does. <laughs> You've got it, kindly stranger. 